Hello, my name is David with Winning Solutions. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an access database, but find that it is too much work, or you could be doing something more productive with your time? WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server, so you can run it on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. Welcome back. This is David from Winning Solutions with another quick access video. Uh, this goes out mainly to our clients, but also to any other access user who has noticed something unusual happening with access lately. Uh, I have a test database here that I'm going to go ahead and open. Okay, so I've opened this database. This is just a quick test database. The database itself isn't important. Um, but what I'm about to show you, um, this opened up in another screen, so uh, I have to take my word for it. It opened when I double-clicked on it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple of things here. Look at some records, etc., etc. Okay, enough. I'm just going to exit. Now, this time it's not opening. And also, you notice this LACCD, by the way, whenever you see this, this little file with the lock on it, this, without getting too technical, it holds locking data for the records um, in, in your database. But the bottom line is, this should delete itself when the database closes. But it this file does not go away and I cannot reopen the database. So this is, we believe, a an issue with a Microsoft Windows update, not necessarily an Office update, but this is a bug that has been introduced uh, as of today. It's February 9th, 2022, so this video may be a, obsolete in a week, who knows. Uh, but uh, this is an issue that we are currently having. Uh, all of the access people here at Winning Solutions are having it, and I know many of our clients are having it. And even if you're not a client, you may be having it too. So um, what to do about this? Well, the workaround I have found that works is to add this uh, to add the project to add the folder, to your trusted settings. Now, actually, in order, first of all, in order to resolve the problem, I have to open up Task Manager, and I'll see, okay, you see it's open, Access is here. Now, this is under background processes. It's not, when you, when you normally open Access, yeah, it's open, this is actually a different database that I have open. Uh, that's, that is, this, this has nothing to do with this video, but, it's a background process. It's still there as a background process. If I try deleting this manually, which I should not have to do, okay, see, it's going to give me this message saying it's still in use, but it's not in use. Well, actually, it kind of, sort of is. Um, so what I do is I go to Task Manager, End Task, and unfortunately, you know, if, you, if you've gotten in that situation where you can't open the, the database again or can't open another database, that's the issue. Um, and so that, you know, that, that's how you're going to have to fix it in the short term, at least for now. Um, now I'll go, now I should be able to delete the LACCDB. See, now I can delete it, no problem. So that was the issue. It was that it's holding on to some process that we, um, that we don't know. But, so how, how do we fix this uh, permanently? Well, the permanent fix is uh, hopefully when Microsoft puts out an update. Uh, but there is something we can do for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Access again. And I'm going to go into Access Options. So what we want to do is we want to go to Trust Center. So Trust Center, if you ever get that um, that yellow bar, uh, enable content, right? The whole idea is that that file may not be what Microsoft calls a trusted file. Access databases can contain macros, and you know it's it's certainly possible. 
oh, that a malicious user could put you know, viruses and other nasty stuff inside a macro. And so for safety purposes, it has this trust center. And that's why it says that you get that pop-up to enable macros. Uh, but you can add your database's folder, the folder that that database resides in. And this would account for, this has to be done. If you have a split database, it has to be for the front end and the back end. You have to do this with, uh, this is, um, this is not a split database. It's just, a, uh, just a test database that I used here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to trust center. I'm in access options. We're going to trust center settings. And then we're going to go to trusted locations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this location, which, uh, I believe I just call a test. Um, so I'm just going to add test. I'll put subfolders if it's not necessary in this case, but I'll just check it off. Okay. Now I'm going to do okay. And let's do okay here. Close that. All right now, let's open this database again. Now the database opens. Okay, so we open the database again. It keeps opening on my other screen. Uh, but here it is again. And you notice, of course, again, you have the LACCDB. That's normal for when the database is open. Now let's go ahead and exit. And now you see the LAC, LACCDB disappears. And I can reopen the database again without any problem. So that is the temporary workaround for now. So just to, to, to wrap up, you get that issue where the LACCDB file doesn't go away. You cannot delete it and you cannot reopen the database. The workaround for the time being is to add whatever folder this is to your trusted locations. This, this is in Access Options Trust Center. Again, I'll show you where it is. It's in here. So you have to, you have to go to File Options. And then you'll get this access options and you go to trust center and that's how you do it um that this is a temporary workaround hopefully microsoft will come up with a solution soon but that's how you can handle this for now and again if you do have if you are stuck in that where you have that laccdb unfortunately the only way to fix it right now is to go into task manager you can go to task manager by pressing Control alt delete on your keyboard or you could go into the start menu and just type task manager and that will open it as well. Okay, so hopefully this has uh, helped you through some uh, stressful situation. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. We uh, always, we put out videos like this whenever we have uh, some issue come up with access in general uh, to keep you informed. And so hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net? or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.